you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Connie and I am Connie's Country Finds on eBay and Country underscore finds on Poshmark this is kind of an impromptu video I didn't plan on doing a video today but I also didn't plan on doing any shopping got up this morning and decided I wanted to go shopping so I thought I'd pop on here and show you what I got I, I got some pretty good stuff some of the stuff I'm going to have to explain so um, I'm going to try not to make this video too long, but go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee, wine, whatever your drink of choice is. Sit back, relax, and let's get into this. All right, let's start with shoes. First thing I picked up was these dance goes, and these are really nice. They don't look like they have been worn at all, and they do say size 40, so I don't know what that equates to in US, but I will figure that out. These are really nice. And these will be listed on Poshmark. So I picked up those. I picked up these really cute boots. These are a size nine and they are Nordy. They're called Nordy. And they're rain boots. Really cute. I had to get these. So, really cool. And then and the next thing I picked up was, I picked up some crafting items because if you guys have been following my videos, um, I said that I'm going to be doing like craft, um, scrapbooking, junk journaling lots. So I'm kind of getting things together for that. I'm picking up things here and there. And this is just a, a little bag of stickers that I plan on putting in my lots. And we're gonna go through this real quick. Looks like a lady made some of these, but that's okay because if you stick them on your scrapbooking, you're not gonna see her name anyways. But these are cute. Yeah, and she made that. And then she also made this one. And then we have some stickers in here. This is a happy anniversary in red and silver. Then we have a couple of hats and bow ties. There's just a mixture of things in here. Then we have some bows. Looks like there's two of those. And then here's a thank you sticker or thank you card that she had made. And then we have some elf stickers. We have some Christmas lights. We have some gingerbread. And we have some holly. There's two of those. <clears throat> and it looks like we also have some presents. And then we have a Halloween. Missing a sticker, but that's okay. And then she made this, another thank you, but you put this in your scrapbook or your junk journal, I'm not going to see that back anyways. And this one just doesn't have her name on it. That's cute. And then we have, I don't know, water droplets, I'm assuming. And then this one's cute. This one is crafting room across the miles, greetings from blah, blah, blah. And there's three of those. And then we do have a November. This was a Susan Branch sticker. And then these aren't your Dollar Tree stickers. And then we have these by Frances Meyer. There's a couple missing, but that's okay. And here's another Susan Branch. Very cute. And this is a Prevo, Provo Craft Scrapbook Biggies. So, designed by Fat Tarlu. So, there's those. These are your, your run of the mill uh, Dollar Tree stickers. So, this crafting line, I, I'm excited to put these together and see what I can come up with. I'm going to try to make them as cute as possible with varieties of things that you guys can use 
for scrapbooking, um, crafting, junk journaling, whatever you want to use them for. So I'm getting all this stuff collected so I can make some good lots. And then another thing I picked up was this reweb kit. And this is for those 80, like 80s, 70s lawn chairs. And I have sold probably three of these uh, this past summer. And I decided to pick one, another one up. It was only a dollar, so figure why not. And then I'm not going to go through all this because this is just pretty much like lace and rope and strings and things like that. Some of this stuff I will be using for my own personal use and then others of it I will be putting in craft lots. And then no haul of mine is complete without some sort of stitching kit. So this is quilt block of the month, month five, Countryside Cottage. This is brand new, unopened. And this is Cruel Creative Stitchery Kit. Thoughtful Deeds Bring Happiness. There's that one. I always pick these up, guys, so you guys will hardly ever see a haul, a hard goods haul, without some sort of craft item in it. I love picking up craft items. All right, and then this next big, huge bag I paid a dollar for, and these are all border stickers. So sit back, relax, and let's look through these real quick. I'll try to go as fast as I can. This is a uh, winter border stickers. And then there's those. And this one. Like I said, these are not your run-of-the-mill Dollar Tree stickers. So there's a, this one has pumpkins and a pot, pumpkin pie. And oh, that's cute with the corn. And then we got a squirrel. He's cute. So there's that. And then here's this one. This is Mrs. Grossman's design lines. So there's two of those. And then Mrs. Grossman as well. There's two of these. And then another Mrs. Grossman. And then we have this one in red, blue and red. And those are both Mrs. Grossman. And then we also have a black one of those. <clears throat> and then we have this one. This is uh, Verdigris Vines Paper Whispers, Mrs. Grossman. And then we have, so far these are Mrs. Grossman. She must be popular. And then we have uh, SRM Mix and Match Borders. It has ballerina shoes. And then we have this one with pumpkins and all kinds of things on there. There's two of those. And then we have alphabet. These are really cute. Renee Lindgreen scrapbook stickers. Those are cute. And then we have 4th of July, Memorial Day, alphabets. Then we have 4th of July, this one, this one is missing one or two. And then we have this one. So the acid free, these are me and my big ideas. This one's really cute. Susan Branch, again. The birds, lemonade, this is a summer theme. Really cute. <laughs> Little ants. How cute. This one is a spring theme by Susan Branch. Here is Christmas theme, and it looks like there's 
four of those. And these are by current. And uh, scrapbooking borders and corners, Archival Provo Craft. This one's missing a couple. And this is uh, Francis Meyer. And it looks like we have four of these by current. And then we have these, which I'll probably keep because there is some missing off of there. And then we have a God Bless America, so that I could go with the other one. That is missing one, but that's okay. And then we have Scott Brookney, this is Provo Craft. And it looks like we have several of these by current. And then we have another alphabet. And then this is adorable. This is a snowman. This is by PSX Designs. And this is a snowman and snowflakes. How cute is that? It says, I love frosty nights, snowy days, and warm hearts. Cold nose, warm heart. May the gentle spirit of the holiday season fill your hearts with love. This one is adorable. So I got all those for $1.50. So I will be lotting those up along with the rest of the stuff. And I will be letting you guys know when the craft flats are available if you are interested in them for your junk journaling, scrapbooking, whatever. They're not going to be expensive, I promise. All right, the next thing I picked up is, I think this is like a gravy boat type thing, but this has got pumpkins on it. So I'm going to get this listed probably today. It should be listed by the time I have this video up. And I think I might put this on Poshmark and eBay. It has the little label, ladle. And this is really cute. This would be adorable uh, for Thanksgiving, so. Yeah, I had to get that. I thought that was really cute. I hate dealing with glass, so honestly, but it is what it is. And then I picked up this little Dutch couple. I thought they were just adorable. I could not leave them behind. They look like they needed adopted, and I'm hoping I can find somebody who will adopt them. The only thing I can understand on the bottom of it is folklore because I think the rest of it is in Dutch. I did pay $2.50 for it and I will be getting that translated so I can find out a little bit of more information on these. But I thought these were so cute and they are like a hard plastic. So they're cute. And then no haul is complete without my bears. And I found these little resin bears and they are a little family. They're called the Crumpletons. And this is Iris Crumpleton. They are little resin bears and I will be selling all these together as a lot. So there's Iris. For, so for all my berry friends, this one's for you. And this is Lily Crumpleton. And she does have her tag. Those two have their tag. Whereas this one is missing a tag, but I'm sure she is part of the Crumpleton family as well. So I will be figuring that one out too. So there's those. All right, that is all for the hard goods haul. So let me get into clothing. All right, first thing I picked up was this Foxcroft um, blouse. These are really nice work blouses and I like the colors in it. I just like picking up Foxcroft. I think it does pretty well. Um, these are very expensive if you buy them in the store. And uh, so I picked up that. I like the colors of it. It still could go into fall with it being plaid and pink is 
a good color for the fall season for 2022. So I think this would go. This would be fine for fall. And then I picked up this. This is an L.L. Bean. I really like this jacket. And it does have, it's a size large. L.L. Bean, size large. And it is lined. So it's got nice soft lining in there. See that? How nice is that? So that's what that looks like. I thought that was really pretty. I, I love blue, so. All right, this is Athleta, size extra large. Just a uh, workout top, very nice. And I will be getting this stuff listed very soon. We'll be working on some of it today. This is called Hobby Horse. And this line is pretty much for if you guys are into show horses, doing show horses, um, I have a shirt for you. And this is really pretty. It's got a lot of shimmer and sparkle to it. And I picked up another hobby horse in one of my last hauls, and that was gorgeous too. So I do have a couple of hobby horse shirts if you guys need some. That is a medium. And then I, I seen this, I like the style of it, and I did not recognize the brand. And I was kind of excited when I found it. And if you guys are fans of the brand, then you will know what this is. This is an Anthropology, and that is the brand. I'm not even gonna try to say the name, I've tried to say it and I can't. So, but this is an Anthropology brand. And the reason I know that is because the tag on the inside does say anthropology. But I picked it up because I thought it was cute. This part is really soft and it's just very classic for the fall season. Very cute. And this is a size medium. Okay, the next one I picked up was this. I love this. This is by Ellen, Elaine, that name, and it is a vest, very, very cute vest. I picked up something, something similar to this in my last haul, but that was for a young girl. It was by Rave Girl, but this is for a woman, and it is a size small, and it looks like it might even fit a medium, so but look at that. It is so soft, guys, I'm telling you. Um, let's see what the, feels like mohair. It's acrylic and nylon, but it feels like a mohair. So I'm telling you, it's really soft. So this is really cute, guys, for fall. I can see someone rocking that. And then this is really nice too. I, it's soft. This is by Moth, and that is Anthropology as well, and it's a size medium. Yeah, I do okay with Moth. Um, I don't know. I figure I'd try it. It is for the um, fall season. It is the fall colors, classic fall color. It is very, very soft, and it is like a mohair type thing. Let's see what the fabric is on this one. It's a hand wash. Uh, okay. It's Angora Rabbit in nylon. So it's, it's rabbit. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> but it's soft, so okay. All right, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So I hope you, it didn't keep you too long. Hope you enjoyed this haul and um, let me know below what your favorite thing was and let me know if you're interested in the crafting lots because I will be getting those up real soon um, especially like the fall ones I need to get those up like now and um, all right so if you guys like this haul give me a thumbs up like subscribe share with your friends and I will see you in my next video bye